from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. Hi, welcome into The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. No, I'm not at Tommy Max, but I'm downstairs on the couch this time around. But it's still the great show and talking to great people all throughout our community here in Jacksonville. Brought to you by our good friends at Heritage Capital. My co-host, look at him, he's right here, Coach Dave Campo back on the show. Hey, Coach. How you doing? How are you? Us I'm football great. guys aren't afraid to, to sit no. next to each other. Listen, to each other, we've man. got a lot in common here. That's right. <laughs> How you been? Everything good? Good. Everything's football good. Football season starts oh, this week. Jags oh. going. I'm rocking the uh, teal and black. You I'm are, Ready man. for the Jags. 1-0? and oh? What do you think? 1-0. 1-0? 1-0. Absolutely. Let's welcome Absolutely. in the group. We've got Tracy Glynn. She's back from the Glynn team. Hey, hey Tracy, great to see how you. Are you? I'm how fantastic. You doing? How's the real estate market treating it's you? It's good. Things Everybody are good, good here in Northeast Florida. Yeah, so yeah. How's the inventory? Is it getting better? I know that's a always little bit better. Thing, yeah. Still low from where we need to be, okay. but um, I think we're up to like three months of inventory now. Okay. Um, we should good. be at Got about a five. So a little bit, yeah. Okay. How about interest rates? Are we still battling that fight? We are still battling that fight, but I think okay. people are, you know, coming around realizing that if you go back before what they call the unicorn years, it's really we're at a pretty normal market. It's right. just that we got used to 3% interest rates and houses yeah. selling. It's better than 12, whatever it's today. It's right, 12, right. Whatever. Actually, when my mom started yeah. selling real estate, it, she was selling when the interest rates were 18%. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. The dagger oh. coach. Yeah, yeah, that was in the yeah. 80s. Yeah. So. I'm glad I wasn't involved in that right. one. Right, That's a big right. thing. <laughs> I've moved so many times, 18% would have killed me. Yeah, no yeah. doubt, right. no doubt. Philip Hobbs is here as well from the Hobbs Agency, Brightway Insurance. How are you, Philip? Doing great. With two L's. Here. That's right. All right. What about the insurance market? What's the latest, man? What are, well, we, what are we dealing with? If there's ever a place to be in Florida, it's North Florida. The market okay. is fantastic here. So the rates compared to the rest of the state, we're in good shape. So anybody who needs to relocate here to Jacksonville, St. Okay. Augustine, Clay County, compared to the rest, we're in good place. Yes. Yeah. Coach, moving as many times as you did. I mean, having people, real estate, insurance, having agents that you can reach out. I mean, that. It's got to be huge, right? I know the well, team helps you with that, but it's still got to be. Yeah, well, the biggest thing, thing, the biggest thing to me is is the personal relationships you have with people, whether sure. it's uh, real estate, whether it's insurance. All those things are important, and I think it's important that you develop that, you know, which Absolutely. I'm sure you guys do. Yeah. And, yeah. And to me, it was a, when you move, it's it's a trying situation for people. People oh. don't. One you of know, the I've most moved so many times. My perfect. wife, uh, yeah. she's <laughs> yeah. a, she's the best. I'm telling you, because yeah. I had to go. And then she basically dealt with the house and all those kind of and things. And there's a right. lot of details Absolutely. to be dealt with yeah. rather than, you know, not just negotiating the offer and getting to closing, but all that peripheral stuff, yeah. too. And yeah. then figuring out insurance. Yeah. 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 Dealing with those guys. I'll take your headache on <laughs> That's absolutely right. Absolutely yeah. right. Well, for people that are watching this show, for young people especially trying to figure out their mm -hmm. career, you guys, you've had success. You look, you've, you're doing great things. But it's not, you know, people think, oh, it's so glamorous. You know, you, you got to grind. I know you got to grind early, both of you, yeah. to get to get your career going. Talk about that just real quick. Yeah, so the insurance is, is a slow, slow process. But yeah. it's incredibly, there's a huge opportunity to impact yeah. people, to be able to provide that peace of mind to, to homeowners, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. to those who are building and buying businesses. It's, it's a big uh, opportunity and privilege to be able to yeah. uh, serve along with those people and be in their corner. But it's definitely not easy. I say rise and grind every day yeah. up, up early, and yeah. you got to get after it. The early bird gets the worm. So well, gr work. grinding to get and then getting to your point, right? It, you know, a lot. Of, I think a lot of mm. younger generations, I just jump <laughs> right in, it. baby. <laughs> I need a hundred G and I need a car to right. start up. You're like, yeah, wait a minute, let's. Yeah. But right. same for the real estate world. Oh yeah, well. absolutely. Yeah. And it's you know, I think the key to success is really working, like you said, those relationships yeah. and yeah. thinking how can I provide value? How can I give people something that maybe they're not. Getting getting somewhere else, you know, now with information being accessible, yep. be the source of information yep. because it's out there. So if they don't get it from you, they're going to get it somewhere. Yeah. And just being consistent with providing that value and, yep. and being willing to show up every Networking, day. Networking, knowing what you're selling, knowing your product and knowing your market. Right. right. I mean, you got, those are like yeah. essential. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like amazing. Play. It's amazing how, uh, how similar sales is to the coaching business, oh. you know, with recruiting, with, yeah. you know, you're selling all the time, you're selling uh, your system, you're selling the head coach, you're selling, 
you know, that you can Yourself. get them. You can, yeah, yes. you can, you can yeah. get them where they want to go. Right. I'm sure it's the same thing, you know, Absolutely. In, in a lot of ways. Yeah. I think there's a lot of parallels in just about any job. I spent about True. a decade in physician recruitment, and I say, mm -hmm. doctor, hospital, buyer, seller. It's right. the same thing, you exactly. know. And I think a lot that parallel can be drawn in a lot of areas yeah. of life. It's building trust. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, your clients have to trust you that you're going to put them in the right mm -hmm. policy, you're going to find them the right place, and that you're going to call the right damn place, coach. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, listen, <laughs> you better start yeah. calling some good play. Yeah, <laughs> hey, listen, that, there were a few times that didn't happen. Yeah. I can tell you that. <laughs> Whatever. No, absolutely. Well, great to have you guys on and keep up the great work, and Appreciate we'll do it again, all right? Sounds good. Check out their great profiles. You can see them all. You can see these shows, many episodes, right at IWantABuzz.com. So until next time, y'all stay safe. And be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the Horses Bar. Cheers. Hey, Tom McManus here with Carpet Man Flooring. Wow, warehouses the size of football fields filled with rolls of carpet and LVP. That's luxury vinyl planking. LVP. Carpet Man's LVP. Carpet Man. Carpet Man's LVP. The luxury beneath your feet. Our prices, they can't be beat. LVP. Carpet, carpet Man's, Man's LVP. LVP. Carpet Man Flooring, your hometown flooring store.